Okay, so let's begin the next video. This one I've labeled uh, called multiplying stuff together. And obviously, like, as you go through algebra, you're going to have to multiply lots of things together. Um, you know, you're going to get situations where you're going to be, you know, you're going to have to say to yourself, what does this equal? Um, or, you know, what does this come out to? And all, all of this stuff, all of this stuff. So I guess this is kind of like, goes together with the cancelling stuff out, because that's kind of like the dividing side, this is the multiplying side. Um, and that's it. So, I mean, I have a feeling a lot of you are going to get this pretty quickly, um, but I'm going to go over it in detail. But if, look, if at any stage you kind of comfortably feel, okay, yeah, cool, I get this, you know what, just move on. I don't think, this is one of those ones, some people get it very quick. So, you know, it would be rather you kind of just practice on stuff which you're not as sure on. But anyway, let's go into this. So, you know, let me tell you a time when this kind of comes up otherwise, yeah? So you might have this situation where, I don't know, you run into like a question and you've got like something like this. You know, let's not focus on it. But, you know, you'll be doing that times that. So for, you know, do you see just at that point when you're trying to multiply this together, you're just trying to figure out what this is going to equal. Just for that time, okay. So I'm not going to really, I'm not going to go over how you multiply out brackets or something. But you know, there's going to be load. This is one of loads of times. There's going to be a point where you're like, all right, what does well, you're going to try multiplying two stuff together? And you're like, what does that simplify to? And here's what I think is the best way of doing it: break it down into as many things. So break everything down um, as much as possible. So look. 7x squared is 7 times x times x, x to the 4 is x times x times x times x, okay, and obviously we're multiplying this, hopefully you can see that, now look, just, you know, obviously you've got this, that's 6x's, so that's just going to become x to the 6, times 7, can't do much with that, 7x to the 6, do you like that nice slant here, look at that nice slant. Uh, yeah, so I mean, that's, uh, that's how you do that one. Let's kind of, I'll go into a few more um, examples and everything as well. Okay, so let's kind of imagine you're doing something like this. So you're doing 7x squared times 2x. Uh, that's 7 times x times x. That's 2 times x. Now, here's the thing. If you're unsure at this stage, reshuffle this. Reshuffle this. And this is... Let me tell you why you can reshuffle it. So imagine if I told you to work out 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Um, hopefully you guys are completely happy that, look, I can either... Work, if I work this out, it's exactly the same as if I reshuffle the order. You know? That's the same as that. This is also the same. So it doesn't really matter what order I do it. So once you've got this, once you've kind of broken your stuff down, the long chain of stuff, uh, which is multiplying, just reshuffle it. So I'd reshuffle it like this. You know, I put all the numbers together, and then I'll kind of line all the x's together. And now it's simple. So I just kind of work bits out, bit, uh, you know, bit by bit. So hopefully you can see that's 14. Um, that's x to the 3. There you go, you can't do much with that. 14x cubed. Right, so now let's kind of chuck in a few x's and y's and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and it doesn't, once you get this, you get this basically. Still kind of uh, getting to grips with this whole writing software. But I'm doing a pretty job, I think. A pretty good job, I hope. So let's go further with this as well. So, I don't know why I'm picking 7, so let's pick another number. 5xy times 6x squared y. Let's break this down. 5 times x times y. Uh, this is 6 times x times x times y. That's all multiplying together. I'm going to reshuffle the order. I'm going to put all my numbers together. Then look, I've got 1, 2, 3x's. And by the way, like, once you get good at it, you're not going to write this whole thing. Like, you're not going to break it down. There's going to be a point where, um, you know, you're just going to be able to say, all right, well, I got the kind of these all multiplying 5 times 3 uh, equals 30. I've got 1x there, 2x there, 3x's, 
y y one one and y square. But you know, let's go. Okay. So this we're going to do it like that. So okay, you kind of literally so line all your numbers up at the front. Then if you have got x's, put all of those together. Y's. Then if you have got a's, b's. You know, you reshuffle them in a nice order so you can do this. So look, this is thirty. This is x cubed. This is y squared. I'm not playing all that stuff together. Well, you can't join x's and y's and stuff together. Like you know, you're not going to make that. Don't fall, don't be stupid and do something like call it like that because that's not how it works, all right? You just leave it like... That's it, you can't do much with it. Oh, whoops. That's it, okay? So furthermore, is there any other stuff? I guess I can go over one other thing as well. But I do want to... It's relatively short and sweet. In the past, I've done longer... 30 minute videos on like the smallest little things and apparently you guys get bored. Thought you would have loved maths a little bit more, but you know, alright, fine. Uh, so okay, anyway, moving on. So look, say so you've got 2x all to the power of 3 times 4x z squared. Let's even put a z in there to make life really special. So, you know, this is pretty straightforward. This is 4 times x times z times z. With this one, you just have to remember that, you know, we go back, to, this is like the powers rules. Yeah, so this is very, like a lot of stuff. You'll see like, you know, maths you learn, it will kind of link all together. So you really do want to kind of understand the steps as you go along. Because um, then they build, they kind of like mesh together, they gel, all of that. Um, and you know, and you'll be in a question where you expect to know all of this stuff, but yeah. So that's what it is. So remember, the power of three is attached to this bracket, so it's saying, Take this whole thing, this 2xz, um, and multiply it by itself three times. Okay, so a quick look, speed this up. It's terrible, my z's look like twos, but hopefully you get it. I'll put a little dash in there. Now reshuffle the order. I find it quite hard to write straight on this. I think it's the whole left-handed stuff. I'm sure any left-handers out there know my pain. It's not a pain. The right-handers just don't understand. Yeah, so here we go. That, that, that. So this is 8, 2 times 2 times 2, that's x to 3. That's uh, z cubed. You know, yeah, I'm just going to spin this up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, realistically, I guess you want to break it down into all of that, write that, rewrite that. You know, let's just get to the point that this is x, uh, that x to the 3 times z to the 3. Okay, then I'm just going to reshuffle this. And I'll show you, you don't have to break it down perfectly. Like, once you get the hang of this stuff, by all means, if you feel comfortable getting, you know, being pretty quick at it, be quick at it. There's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, you can get to this point. That's 32. X to, you know, realistically, that's just a 1. So you can, you know, you can skip using like the powers kind of stuff. That's X to the 4. Um, this, again, in reality, that's 1, 1. So your powers are always Z to the 5. And there you go, the answer. The answer is 32 X to the 4 z to the 5. Not much more to add to that, because sometimes you'll be kind of unsure like what it is, and you ju just bring in this thinking, don't try guess. Um, and once you, well, I think once you get this, you get this fine. Um, and that's it, alright? And again, as I say this, so I'll leave the video there. None, if there's something on here doesn't make sense, talk to me, give me a call, bring it up in like the next lesson. Um, yeah, that's it. So, Let's, yeah, and that's it. That'll be the, that will wrap. That's kind of, so yeah, this video, the seven rule powers, the two signs next to each other, and how to cancel anything in like a fraction video, these are like the four essentials. Um, so now let's go into algebra.